It's a hundred pages long, and it's not a reassuring read. The global order is falling apart. Who will pick up the pieces is the question posed at this year's security conference. Conference chairman Wolfgang Ischinger expects the Europeans to take the lead in putting the pieces of the puzzle back together. Should we simply stand by while a liberal international system based on institutions, on rules and on the law just crumbles? For German and European interests, that would be a tragic, a catastrophic development. One important issue will be defence spending and increased tension following the cancellation of the INF Treaty. And for the first time, climate change will not just be a sideshow, because Ischinger sees climate policy as a central aspect of security policy. We want to demonstrate that climate and security are of central importance, not only for us in Europe, but also, for instance, for island states in the Pacific. If protections are correct, they will lose some of their territory. They might end up completely covered by water. Where should those people then go? The size of the delegation from the United States has tripled in size and includes House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. For Ischinger, it's a signal that in the U.S., too, there's an interest in cooperation and in avoiding a dissolution of the international system. All right, we're joined now by our political correspondent, Simon Young. Uh, look, Simon, the host of this upcoming uh, conference, Wolfgang Ischinger, he's warning about, quote, a new era of great power competition. I mean, is this alluding to maybe a new Cold War? Yeah, well, in a way it is. But I think the, uh, the, the conflicts and potential conflicts that the Munich Security Conference is going to be focusing on, uh, they go way beyond the Cold War as we would have understood it in the 20th uh, century. Uh, the, this uh, Munich security report that's being uh, launched today is entitled The Great Puzzle, Who Will Pick Up the Pieces? So it is about really the question, if you like, what happens in this rules-based global system if the US in particular pulls back and no longer wishes to be the guarantor of, uh, of global stability and so on. It is about uh, NATO and Russia, in that sense, uh, the Cold War and the tensions that have grown there. Uh, but it's also, for instance, about the rise of China. We're going to see a, 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 a member of the Politburo, China's uh, top foreign policy uh, mm. spokesman is coming to Munich. Uh, so that's going to be an important focus, but many other things as well. Africa uh, or migration, what does that mean for, uh, for security issues around the world? Or the festering wounds in the Middle East, of course, as ever. Climate change, what does that mean for security? Uh, and the arms race in space. So a lot of things to focus on. Yeah, packed agenda, a lot to talk there. What are the chances then that we will see this, uh, this INF treaty come up in these talks? I think it's sure to be a, a key focus. You know, you've had uh, the Americans and the Russians pulling out of this uh, intermediate range uh, nuclear forces uh, treaty with recriminations on both sides. Donald Trump says, you know, we're increasing all our arsenals of all kinds of weapons. So there's a desperate need to talk. So it's a good a sign that a huge uh, American delegation, bigger than we've ever seen at Munich before, uh, 50 members of Congress, even more than that perhaps, including uh, Nancy Pelosi uh, and Mitt Romney and many others. Uh, so they are going to be talking. Uh, whether there'll really be progress on INF is another matter. So much on the agenda here. This is taking place, though, of course, in Germany, in Munich, uh, where, where Germany is a big part of the European Union. What can EU leaders do about all these issues? Yeah, there's, uh, I think there's a, a recognition that the EU does need to do more. They need to pay more, as Donald Trump says. Well, that's happening, if not quickly enough. Uh, but as Wolfgang Ischinger was saying today, you know, uh, they need to develop better, more effective defence cooperation. There are some projects in the pipeline, for instance, a Franco-German uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, they've been talking about pooling and sharing capabilities for many years, but a lot of people say, you know, more needs to be done. So there'll be... Uh, also, the concerns, of course, about Brexit. What does that mean for European defence cooperation? We'll see the French, German and British uh, defence ministers uh, talking together on a panel in Munich. And when does it start? 
uh, on Friday is All the right. main event. Okay, DW political correspondent Simon Young, thanks a lot.